Hello everyone, Jesse Wilson here reporting in with another album update video about my album, 27. As I do with all the videos, if you're just now joining us, I have to thank you very much for finding me somehow uh, on social media or whatever led you to this place. Uh, and here is a little bit about what 27 is. I'm currently 27. It is my favorite number and a lot has changed in my life over the past year, really starting whenever I turned 27. And I wanted to write a musical album that would kind of be a, a, an audio diary of what has happened to me this year. And that album is supposed to contain 27 songs. So what I'm gonna be talking about today is where the album is so far, what, what we have left to do, what I think about it, and all the things. So again, thank you for joining me. I will try to make this video short. Of course, I always say that and end up being 10 minutes long. But as always, I have my uh, key points here written on my, my little wall so I can keep myself from going off on tangents. So the first thing. The last video that you saw me in was at the end of August, which means that was a month ago. I've been trying to do these about, about every month or so. And at the end of August, we had completed 23 songs, which would have left me four songs to write in September. That didn't happen. I only completed two. That's okay. It just I just wasn't feeling it. Um, at this point, I'm kind of... I feel like I'm losing steam. I don't want to like put that out in the universe, but uh, it's been a really long process to put this much work into the music. It's been a really long time since I've focused on writing this much music in a relatively short amount of time. I know some artists will say they've they've written 56 songs for their album in two weeks, and you know that's great. But uh, for me, I am playing all the instruments. I am recording all of it myself, I'm mixing it myself, I'm mastering it myself, I'm writing all the lyrics myself. So I have to give myself a pat on the back that I've even made it this far. So the last time you saw me, we were at song number 23, which was Sunglasses. And in September, I was able to get two songs done, which were Leave Me Lonely and Dreamcatcher. And I'm supposed to talk about those two. Leave Me Lonely is, uh, it took me a really long time to get to this song. It was really emotional for me, and the main message of it is about how you leave people lonely, or they leave you lonely, though it's no one's fault. It is just a fact of life that some of us spread out, and we go on to experience life without these people that you love, though it does not diminish how much you love them whatsoever. Uh, the, the verse of Leave Me Lonely is because you leave me lonely even though I know it's not your fault. You leave me lonely even though you were with me all along. So it was really hard and it was really emotional. I think I cried several times and I've always said if if a song doesn't make me cry, if I'm writing it and it doesn't make me cry, I'm kind of apprehensive of even finishing it. There's something about it being so deeply emotional that I like. Um, I don't know, some people write vapid songs that don't do anything for you, but for me, it's got to make you cry. I'm already at four minutes, so we're going to keep on moving ahead. Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher was the next song. Dreamcatcher is song number 25. This was the first song that I actually used samples from. Um, whenever I was in college, I was super, super interested in what is called tape music. And this is whenever composers of the late 20th century started to be able to use computers for their songs. And also, um, more specifically, the magnetic tape reels that came with recording audio onto these reels and they would splice them and reverse them and all this interesting stuff and, and now that stuff has become digital for us. It's become, a, it's become a plug-in to do the same thing that they did to those uh, magnetic reel, tape reels so long ago. And um, this song was probably the first one that I didn't really have a plan going into. All the other ones, I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to be, but this one I, I didn't really know. But I had just gone to the library and um, ravaged through the ethnic music section of the CDs and found these wonderful recordings of um, powwows from several different 
uh, Native American nations. Uh, the one that I ended up using as a sample for this song comes from the 1992 Toronto International Pow Wow. And um, it turned out really good, I think. It was a bit of a struggle for me again. I don't know if it was because I felt like I wasn't going into it with a plan or like any sort of emotions behind it, but um, it turned out really well. It's It was deeply personal for me. Uh, with this entire album, with this entire year, I've been dealing with my own uh, monsters, my own nightmares, my own things very heavily. And so the idea of Dreamcatcher, once I got into the song, it kind of all fell into place about, um, about how I wanted, I want something to take these nightmares and demons away. And um, the verse of this song is, when this is over, I'll look into your eye, as in the eye of the dream catcher. Though I think it's interesting that this could also be applied to a person. And see, you kept all my demons buried deep inside, and God, it just ain't right. I think that we all have dream catchers in our life. We have people or we have things that we expect to take away the anxiety or the stress or the, the highly emotional process of just living and hope that they do it and then go about our lives. So that was dream catcher. What's, on, no, what's next on my list? Um, the third part of the album, I've said from the beginning that I wanted it to be 27 songs, but also to play into the numerology of 27, that I had toyed around the idea of actually releasing it in three separate albums of nine songs, because three to the third power is 27, um, and three goes into nine three times, and I just, I just like all that stuff. Uh, and I thought about specifically making each part of each third of the album very different. And though I have not done that, I look back at the album and see, I see the first nine songs as very, uh, they're like family. The second half, very much family. They all kind of belong together. And the third half, very much, they very much belong together. Uh, which is cool that it kind of happened unconsciously. It's like, it was like phases of my life. It was these three things that happened. And, um, I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool that they, they all happen that way. I did want the last, uh, third of the album to be really dark and be really electronic and be really hard hitting for the first two thirds of the, well, actually until like, song number 23, Sunglasses, I laid a piano track and then built everything from there, but I've kind of torn off from that and have been um, diving more into electronics and such for this last third of the album. And um, song number 26 actually completes the whole cycle of I wanted to, with this album, write in every single key signature, major and minor, and song number 26 completes that with it being in E minor, which I think is awesome, which means I get to choose the key signature for the very last song, which is like very like metaphysical and spiritual to me. I love that, that that worked out that way. That's really cool. And I had almost not realized that I did not use E minor until I was going through and double checking everything the other day before I started writing song number 26. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't used E minor. How can I forget E minor? It's such a beautiful key signature. Um, the next, okay, so it says that I should tell you the, the names of the next two songs. Yes, I've had in my mind what the next two songs are gonna be for so long. Song number 26 is called Cosmic Clone, and I finished it yesterday. I finished tracking it yesterday. I will be recording vocals probably today or tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to have it out before this weekend because this is a busy weekend, and the seventh is on Friday, which I gave myself seven days. I have to have it out. So, um, Cosmic Clone and number 27 is going to be called Home, which I've mentioned in previous posts, that the first song was called uh, uh, This House Will Become a Home, and I think it's really cool that to make a full circle of 27, that the 27th one will be called Home. Um, I'm already at nine minutes, so oh my God, I'm already at ten minutes. Jeez Louise. Um... 
I will be going back after I finish these next two tracks and remastering, remixing some things and maybe re-recording some vocals. I've learned so much along this journey uh, about mixing and mastering and EQing and compressing and all this stuff. Again, when I say that some people record 56 songs in two weeks, that's great. But for me, it is literally in the entire process from coming up with the song, playing it on the piano, playing all the instruments from my computer, mixing, mastering, everything. I've learned so much in this project and really that's what makes me happy because I just told a student of mine the other day, hi Liz, if you're watching this, that when I'm not learning, I don't feel good. I don't feel like anything is happening and I feel like learning is fundamental to all of us. We, we need to consistently learn about ourselves, about uh, the world, about life, and if whatever gets you there. For me, this year it has been recording this album. Um, so I will be going back and doing a few fixes. Um, looking back, I, I, I have on here, what is my favorite song? Every time I come back to song number uh, 11, Unravel, which I really, really love, and even though we've written 25 songs, do I have another favorite? Ah, you know, I just go back to Unravel all the time. It's like really, there's just something about that song to me that um, is so deeply personal. Um, I do like Cosmic Clone. I'm interested to see how it sounds with the vocals and, um, I don't know. I think that might be a close contender. I do love Tornado. Um, I love Hyper Joy for it being different, which is song number 20. I love Rabbit Hole for it being song number 22, different to Sunglasses has been a really cool experiment for me. So, but I would say Unravel is still my favorite. Um, and the last thing I have on my list is song number 27, Home. Uh, I've been thinking about for a while with this album of doing a spoken word song. Um, there is a song by Imogen Heap that is uh, from her latest record, Sparks, that is spoken word. And um, I just think that's really cool. Whenever I first started like my creative process, I was writing poetry. And, um, you know, it, it slowly, maybe quickly, kind of moved to being music. And uh, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot that I want to say in this song that I might not necessarily be able to get out with just singing it. So maybe parts of it will be spoken word, maybe parts of it will be um, actual singing. But uh, uh, that's still just an idea that I'm tossing around. I think, I think it'd be cool for it to be spoken word. and for me kind of get back to my roots and I think that'd be really interesting to tie in for it to be the last song and for it being number 27 so okay we are almost at 14 minutes so this is it for this one the next time you see me uh, will probably be after I finish song number 27 and we'll talk about where we're going from there with the album it's gonna be released on November 28th uh, 2016 which is my 28th birthday um, I should probably actually release it on November 27th. That would actually make much more sense. Uh, it's kind of a busy time for people around there. It's it's uh, Thanksgiving and, you know, all that stuff. But um, that would actually make more sense. So after I finish these next two, I'm going to spend two weeks seriously perfecting everything and uh, getting it out to you guys. So again, thank you so much for following me on this journey, for watching these 15 minute long videos. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that whenever the album does come out that you will get a chance to listen to it and give me all of your feedback. Um, it's been such a journey for me and I hope that you listen from one through 27 and experience your own journey uh, with me. So thank you very much. I will post all my links to my SoundCloud, Twitter, Reverb Nation, Tumblr, Facebook, all the things below. So make sure you click on them and please follow me and I will see you next time.